guys, welcome back to another episode of GMG News. So, today I came down to the Geek Club UK. I ended up meeting Harry. Big shout out to Harry. I'm going to trade him a legendary Celebi Pokemon because I'm such a nice guy like that for a Charger Bug. So, are you ready? This is my device. So, trade Celebi. So, I just let Harry do his. He's going to do his Charger Bug. And if you guys like this sort of content, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if any of you guys want to add me as a friend on uh, Pokemon Sun, uh, so okay, trade and trade, um, please do so because I love communicating with you guys, I love playing against you guys, and I just want to grow the Pokemon community as much as I can. So that essentially, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. So as you can see, there's my Celebi. Bye bye Celebi. Oh, uh, even in a nice Pokeball as well. Oh, interesting fact as well, a uh, little fun fact. Did you know that the GS ball that was used for Celebi was only ever mentioned once in the Pokemon anime and was never mentioned again? Because it was used in Pokemon Crystal and then it's never been mentioned since. Nobody's ever brought up the GS ball. That is very true. So, there you go, it's your Celebi. It's my charge bug. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. Best charge bug you'll find. Yep, best one I've ever seen. Well, like I said, I haven't even encountered the uh, the uh, Vikavolt, which is a very good Pokemon to use. So this should just be going through now. But yeah, guys, if you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section down below. And when Harry decides to make his YouTube channel, uh, pay him a little bit of respect and go over and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Once it has been made, I will make a video um, about Harry's YouTube channel and I will show you guys what... Um, what he does essentially but as you can see there you go free celebi i know i'm nice like that uh what else have i not had halucha so uh, trying to think of a pokemon that you've probably not encountered before so have you encountered a mimikyu yet no nope, i'm on the second island okay well we're gonna do we're gonna encounter a mimikyu which is a hard pokemon to encounter so we're just going to trade that and this and like i said guys i get these pokemon for free so i don't have any issue with trading them to people and helping people out because at the end of the day i'm just trying to grow the community so as they say if you help people people help you i'm sure harry will end up in a position where he's got a legendary pokemon that he can sort me out with but yeah like i said thank you once again for watching another episode of gmg news i'm just going to very quickly just see if this trade goes through shouldn't have any issue and you can and just to debunk something Harry has Ultra Sun, I have Pokemon Sun. You can trade between Pokemon Sun, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and Ultra Sun. You can't trade any further back than that. And these are the only four games that are compatible with each other via trading, unless you use Pokemon Bank, which is an app that you have to download onto your 3DS, 2DS, 2DS XL, or 3DS XL. So, Halucha just sent to me, Mimikyu just sent to Harry. I really want your, I really want your DS, man. That's such a nice looking DS. But yeah, Mimikyu has now been added into his Pokedex. And did you know that Mimikyu likes to imitate Pikachu because in its Pokedex entry, um, one trainer seen its face and died. That is a 100% true fact. You heard that here first on GMG News. Um, it is a ghost type Pokemon and nobody actually knows what Mimikyu looks like apart from the sad trainer who lost his life by looking at its face. But yeah, thank you for watching another episode of GMG News. Don't forget to subscribe. When Harry makes his YouTube channel, go and subscribe to his as well. And I will catch up with you all very, very soon in the next video. Smash the like button, turn on post notifications, and I will see you guys very, very soon.